We now know the names of two people killed in a Northeast Portland apartment fire. Police say the two men who died were roommates at the Heidi Manor Apartments. The fire also injured four people, and we learned today a woman is in the hospital in critical condition. The fire tore through two buildings at the complex on the 4th of July, and those who escaped are left with nothing. Fox Trail's Drew Reeves is following the story in Northeast Portland. Well, fire investigators have been on scene all day. It was the first day that they were actually able to get out on site. Engineers had to come in first to make sure what is left of the building was safe to go through out here. And while they work, loved ones are left to mourn those who didn't make it out alive. Tonight, Portland police say two roommates were killed in the Heidi Manor apartment fire here on Weidler Street. The medical examiner identified them as 31-year-old Robert Gramillion and 31-year-old Seth Thompson. Their friends and family grieving two men taken too soon. One friend reached out to Fox 12 to say that Seth was a kind heart who was always trying to make sure people were having fun. Police also say a 25-year-old woman is in the hospital with critical injuries from this fire. Then there's all the folks who escaped, but now have nothing left. Around the neighborhood, flyers are left as neighbors try to get folks what they need. Beatrice Santiago Perez just finished celebrating her run as a Rose Festival princess. Now her family is trying to rebuild their lives. Right now we're still in shock. We just can't believe this happened to us. We are trying to just live day by day right now. She says they were home the night of the fire, and it was her uncle who lived down the hall who got them out. He started banging on our, on our door telling us to wake up because there's a fire and then I go outside to see what's happening and I see the like there's this guy, he's trying to hose it down and the trap the fire in the, with the hose. Her family watched as their belongings were destroyed in the flames. It was scary, traumatizing, you, you just like, it's like you freeze, you don't know what to do. Since the fire, a GoFundMe was created for her family and surpassed $14,000. It's overwhelming, I'm very thankful that I have the support system that I have. But her family must now find a new place to call home. She's just thankful that her uncle was there that night. If he didn't wake us up, we wouldn't have probably made it out alive. And fire officials tell us that they are confident they will determine what caused this fire, whether that's today or later this week. And Portland police say they believe there are people out there with critical information about this fire. If you know anything, you are asked to call Portland police or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Drew Reeves, Fox 12 Oregon.